Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is 3.4. What's going on, world? How are you? Welcome back to Channel 3.4. This is another episode of Music Felt by Me. Let's get right into this. J. Cole uh, just dropped Port Antonio. I was sitting there watching Hurricane Milton coverage. Hope everyone in Florida is okay. I mean, okay is a loose use of the word. I just hope. <laughs> Wild scene there. Thoughts thoughts with the people in Florida. Uh, sitting there watching Hurricane Milton coverage. And uh, I see on Twitter... Elliot Wilson posted this and someone replied and said the perfect response or something. What a perfect comeback or something. So we'll see. Uh, this may be the first single from J. Cole that we've heard. I know he's done some features. So uh, let's get right into this. J. Cole, Port Antonio. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I need you. Yeah, you. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Come join the journey. Be a part of the community. Join the Discord. A whole bunch of links in the description. Let's get right into this. I'm more excited about this. Let's get into it. <laughs> on the zeros i fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds so we were skipping church but my eyes was on the sparrows niggas flipping pies spending thousands on the payroll shit i want to shine too the jay-z sample bing 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 it sounds like a jay-z sample i can't remember the song now is it it's not uh, oh, fuck. It was like Reasonable Doubt era Jay-Z. I can't think of the song now off the top of my head. I'm, I'm horrible at recalling the specific song, but I'm like my ear picks picks them up. I just, in fucking A. I mean, this is a really easy one. I'm not saying like, oh, I got this wonky ass ear that can pick up samples. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't meant like that. It's just normally I kind of hear little things and sometimes I'll be like with the kids or with Lisa and be like, oh, wait a minute, that's from something. That's from something. And I gotta, like rack my brain forever trying to place it. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas want to know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie. Damn, what is that from? I'm going to bring it back a little bit because I was kind of distracted by the piano. But still my mind was on the zeros. I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds. So we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on the payroll shit. I want to shine too. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas want to know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm boo. Mm, mono we mono, I'm Bono. I'm you times two. Oh, yeah, that you too, Bono. Okay. Just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie, I done outgrew the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veer where all my... And I like that too. He's just like, like... Mono we mono I'm you times two. Mono or mono we mono I'm bono I'm you times two, but also mono we mono I'm like twice as good as you. I'm you times two. We mono I'm bono I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie I done outgrew the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veer where all my skeletons lock. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get pop. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gonna bet on the block. He wanna bar. Mm -hmm. But if the team no draft king, he's gonna bet on the block. Yeah. It's like a headphone crisis. Headphone malfunction here. I like this. He's kind of been on the Michael Jackson. Uh, Schemes too. What was the uh, what's the one he, he said in uh, Daylight? The record with Daylight. Uh, a bunch of smooth criminals got way too much lean or whatever. Yeah, I 
I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish acts. I was Mike and Red Leather trying. I've seen lifelong. See, this part, he's like really talking some shit right here. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I seen good, I seen bad. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons lock If I could do it all over, then I never would swap I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops I I've seen good, I've seen bad I've had my, mel my melanin mocked I've seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops Damn I seen bad, had my melanin mocked I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell him to stop You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get popped He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block He wanna ball till he fall until the federals knock And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock You can't relate unless your father was not around And your mother went out and found someone else and then brought around And they salaries didn't combine when they married and brought you out of that Poverty, then you move to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood you feel awkward about it now that kind of that kind of reminds me of like an Eminem flow uh oh there goes gravity oh there goes gravity choke he's so mad but he won't give up that it kind of reminds me of that where he says with we're both there both their incomes combined and pulled you up out of poverty but like that sounded, it sounded a lot like that to me and i like how he's telling the story about how you couldn't relate to this unless uh, you didn't have a father in your home and your mom I started, started seeing someone else and I brought another man home and like, oh man. And they brought around and they salaries less your father was not around and your mother went out and found someone else and they brought around and they salaries didn't combine when they married and brought you out of that poverty then you moved to a soft little part of town so that when your mother went out and found someone else and they brought around and they salaries didn't combine when they married and brought you out of that poverty then you moved to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood you feel awkward about it now. Mm -hmm. Then you Salaries then combine when they married and brought you out of that poverty then you move to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood you feel awkward about it now Then your confidence start to drown but the rapper gave you some positive thoughts so you jot them down You jot them down Ride to it That's some real shit and that's that was told really well Really really well That's awesome That was a really good uh, whole scheme there yeah uh benjamin button cold flows reverse time to find deliveries good as mine you gotta search primes i'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch mm -hmm. yeah 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 uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time to find deliveries good as mine. You gotta search primes. I'm scared. Mm. Mm. Cold. Oh. Height flows reverse time to. Yeah, cold flows reverse times to find deliveries as good as these. You need to search primes. So you can go back and look at like the best eras of people. Like oh, when so and so was at his best, he was rapping like this. J Cole rapping like peak. Wayne or Peak M or Peak J or Peak whatever, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time yeah, to Benjamin find deliveries good as mine. You gotta search primes. I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch, trying to be something, hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind. One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme. I learned long ago you can't please them all, and it hurts trying. In this game where all you've got is your name, like dirt, I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirch mine. Absurd times with a fake it was that oh it was all my life with with dirk long ago you can't please them all and it hurts trying in this game where all you've got is your name like dirk i'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirch mine absurd times with a fake get told it is wise i can see hating both for your eyes but the third's blind so you search lines but you struggle which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds i hate when raps become but like do not disturb signs can i get it if i see it's about the dough 
They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But singing stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They hmm. Hold on. Okay. 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 I think I know where it is. Okay. I get it. I see it's about the door. They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But singing stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. Singing, they're singing stop the violence to us dude this is stop the violence to us dudes in hospitals is that what he said the fuckery because it's profitable but singing stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals the fuckery because it's profitable but singing stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals so yeah i'm not sure what he says they're singing singing stop the violence to us dudes in hospitals, or tool, tools with dudes and uh, to us with dudes and saying stop the violence to us with dudes in hospitals. The fuckery because it's profitable, but saying stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was. Okay, so now he says I pulled the plug because I seen where that was going. I feel like we're about to get into the whole Kendrick thing here, Kendrick uh, Drake thing. But saying stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about. Hold on, saying stop the violence. Was it two of those dudes was in hospitals? But saying stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the pro. I would have gained the phone. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have lost a battle, bro. I would have lost a bro. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Like, to y'all, it's just entertainment. To me, I would have lost a friend. I'm dodging. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost a battle, dog. I would have lost a bro. But there's also, like, I don't know. I don't know. You can compete without like turning people into your mortal enemy too. You know what I mean? That's the thing I'm not really too high on. Like, I like the J. Cole apologized. I could tell if you watch my reactions to the song, there's like a short where I'm like, I don't know, man. It felt like he definitely wasn't in it. I'm not the only person that felt that way. It was very obvious. He kind of half stepped his way into responding to Kendrick, and I thought he was just kind of reaching for insults that didn't really land because they didn't seem genuine or sincere. Um,. I'm okay with him apologizing too and saying, look, I, I don't really want to go there. That's fine too. But I don't like the idea that like you that you wanted to compete with everybody except for Kendrick, I guess. You know what I mean? Because it just seems like there was a lot of competitive, a lot of bravado, a lot of braggadocious. I'm the best rapper. Who wants smoke with me? Pick your favorite rapper out of a line or whatever. Okay, but what if that person picked Kendrick? That line doesn't make any sense anymore. So, it didn't have to turn into a bloodbath for J. Cole. If he didn't want it to be a bloodbath, I, I don't know. Profitable, but saying it's not the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I respect, I respect him for uh, not battling, though, if he didn't want to. I do respect him for, for actually like, pulling, like taking, taking it and going, you know what? Like, I thought it was weird where it was like, here's my, take your best shot, my chin's right here. I thought that was kind of weird. But, like, for him to just be like, nah, I fucked up my piece. I'm not, I'm not really with that. I'm not trying to get engaged with him in that way. Okay, then. Cool. Like, and he took the consequences of what came with that. That's fine, then. I don't really, I don't really care about that. the fuckery because it's profitable. But saying it's not the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost a battle dog. I would have lost the pro. Mm. I would have gained a phone. And all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king. If that means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest. The weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing. Protecting legacies. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war. I walked the way with all they blood on me mm, wow he really is talking about it he's really talking about it like he is straight up talking about it interesting though he says uh i guess cole is no king if it means digging dirt up and getting with the algorithm bots to sway the whole thing and 
No, no, not necessarily. Like, I don't think that that has to be true. I know that that may be perceived as, like, what the result was. But I don't think that that had to be the outcome. A bunch of guys could have just rapped. And the, and the rap fans would have said, yeah, he won. Yeah, he lost. Yeah, he, this is the better record, whatever. And people would have disagreed forever. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to, to go. Idea. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. And the idea, too, like, I can respect the idea of, like, no, I'm not going to go to war with a friend of mine because people want to see me do it. People that don't pay my bills, people that don't uh, uh, have any impact on my friendships or my relationships or my peace want to see me do it. I don't owe them shit. I get that, too. Uh, yeah, I respect that part a lot. No, I'm not going to go to <laughs> war with Kendrick Lamar because Twitter wants me to. Fuck Twitter. The fuck is Twitter? You know what I mean? Like, no, fuck no. If I want to go to war, I'm going to go to war because I, well, because I really got an issue. But no, not because me, rap media journalists think that this is my time to do it. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, I get that. I get that. It just didn't have to be as deep of a conclusion as he makes it seem, though. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone and all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king if that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest the way to both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war, I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me. I wipe away my pedigree, but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Uh, my dog texted me, I share the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh, I guess in that metaphor, I hyper. Mm. Okay, that's an interesting bar, too. He said his friend texted him and said, Just because you refuse to shoot the gun doesn't make the gun not deadly. It's deadly. He said it like deadly. Uh, you know, not shooting a gun doesn't make a gun not deadly. True. True. Hmm. I don't know what to take of that. Like, I get it. I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure I really understand the angle here. But him saying, both my friends went to war and I left with all their blood on me. So, like, eh. Did you though? Like I don't know. I don't know. The way with all they blood on me. Now way to both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies. So lines got. I do like the the right here. Things. I understand the thirst of being first. That I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing. I like that he's speaking on his observation of what happened between Drake and Kenji too. That's pretty cool. Means to be considered best to live and rest the way to both things. I understand the thirst to be in the name of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest the way to both things. I understand the thirst to be in first that made them both swing protecting legacies. So lines got crossed perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war. I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me. Try wipe away my pedigree but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly um that's fair i mean he was he was on a incredibly great run the diss track was a little weird it was weird uh majorly later is a good project <sighs> excuse me um and then he did grippy it was like weird and then he's got a couple good features again in this so yeah i mean like if you take that four month stint out of there or whatever like the awkwardness of of seven minute drill and grippy <laughs> yeah just i don't know i don't know my dog texted me but he has been great he's he has been on an all-time run had a weird moment and then it seems to be picking up especially that daylight feature is crazy Wait, I pedigree, but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredible. It's not that he's not a good rapper. Like, that didn't just change. Like, he didn't go from being really, really good to maybe being the best active MC of the three of them to not. 
just because of what happened. Uh, my dog texted me, I shared the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh, I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text her back like, guess a gun ain't what I'm trying to be, my nigga. They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, hey Drake, you'll always be my nigga. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching your minds, deep in your hearts, creeping up, find emotions to touch, something inside to open you up, help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love cause we ain't prime and shit. My nigga, y'all niggas ain't stopping me. Yeah. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. <laughs> hmm. Uh good record. Good record. <laughs> what the hell is this? My kids would have been in from LA. Um, really good record. Interesting perspective. I am glad that he commented on it through rapping. I think his perspective is interesting. I think he brought some insight to the table. I just don't want this to be his identity. I hope this is kind of a okay for the for the music listeners. Here's it through music. Here's my angle, here's my reasoning, rationale, and logic. Here's how I'm feeling. And then you can kind of move on. Because I don't want it to be the, yeah, I could have if I wanted to, but I didn't because I love these guys. and whatever. I don't want that to be his identity. You know what I mean? So I hope, and it hasn't been. I just, a record like this, like, is this a clear the air record? Okay, it's it's addressed. Are we off that now? Or is this a set the tone for, yeah, despite me doing seven minute drill and deleting it, I'm still that guy. You know what I mean? Like, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. You know, I don't. I hope there's not a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> a lot of references to that in the future. I like the record though. I'm gonna go 88. I think it's good. Uh, I think it's really good. Shout out to J Cole. Interesting perspective. Um, really well wrapped. And he's right. He's right in the fact that you know he he was one of the better rappers in the world, actively rapping at an all time level. Great, great features. His performances were incredible. And then, yeah, we had this weird breakdown and just weird moment in time. And it seems like he's back to rapping really, really well. And all the feelings that you had about J. Cole rapping really well uh, probably should still apply, except for, like I said, that confrontational bravado, pick your favorite rapper and I'll do what I want to, whatever. So, well, I pick Kendrick. Now, now what? You know what I mean, all that stuff is kind of out the window. So... Aside from that, I think that's going to do it for me. Everyone, be safe, be real. Let me know what you thought about the song down below. Uh, everyone, take care of yourself. Shout out to uh, J. Cole. Thoughts with the people of Florida. And, uh, man, that's going to do it for me. Um, catch you all on the next one. Thank you to Patreon and YouTube members Clay Hopkins, Mohamed Bukamza, and Kylo Renz.